Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Let's Make a Minigame series where we create a simple team versus team script. In this episode, we're going to go over player respawning, the scoring system and friendly fire. But before we begin, I would like to give a quick shout out to Mataran, who is actually recreating everything we do in this series in Java. So if you would like to know what all of this would look like in actual Java, then I will put a link to his GitHub repository in the description. I think it's awesome. So let's jump right into it. For today's episode, I actually have two instances of Minecraft running right here so I can actually test it with another player. This can easily be done using this program called MultiMC, where you can just run as much instances of Minecraft as you want, run it in offline mode, give it a random name, and there you go, you have a dummy character so we are going to need that guy later we're just going to continue where we left off and we're just going to tackle the easiest part right now which is friendly fire it's really easy to do this we first create a on damage event then we check if the attacker and the victim are a player so the person that's being attacked is a player and the victim is a player so that way this doesn't trigger for like when you hit other mobs. We also need to check if this game of us exists. So if team versus team exists, like we did in the previous episode as well. And to also make this more future proof if we're going to make other game modes, we are going to check if the game of the attacker is game team versus team. So this only counts for this actual game mode. And here we go. It's actually really easy. We have to check if... The team of the attacker is the same as the team of the victim. And if that's the case, we cancel the damage, so nothing happens, and we stop right here. And that's it. That's all there is to it. This is going to cancel friendly fire, and I will show that to you later in this video. Let's also add a little comment here so we know what this does exactly. Disable friendly fire. Okay, perfect. And now we are going to go over respawning, which is also three lines of code on respawn. Game of player is game team versus team. And we have to check if that exists as well, like this. Just going to copy it over. And then we simply do teleport player to the spawn of the team of the player. And there you go. So this way, if a player hits the respawn button on his screen, we're going to check if the game exists if the player is actually in this game and then teleport him to the spawn of his team. And let's also give that a little comment. So that's actually two of the three subjects for today already tackled. We're going to go over the scoring system now, which is going to be a little more uh, complicated, but it's really not that hard. So usually in a team versus team mini game, you score points by killing other players. So we're going to do an event on death of player. We of course have to check if this game exists and if the game of the player that died is actually team versus team no don't forget the word game here and what i like to do for my game modes is actually force the player to respawn so he can't hit the respawn button himself because that can cause issues if he waits too long so we're just gonna make him actually respawn let's do a little comment force respawn force the event player which is the player that just died to respawn that's it and then this is going to trigger this event right here just as well as when you uh, press the respawn button yourself and that should all just work fine and just to make sure this doesn't get messed up when the server is lagging or anything like that we can add a little wait here for like one tick which is one twentieth of a second it's very short all right now let's do the actual team points we are going to check if the attacker is a player so if a player is actually killed by another player we check if the team of the attacker is, in this case, let's first do blue. Then we add one point to team blue from game team versus team. Else, if his team of the attacker is red, we are going to just copy this over. And we're going to add one team to team red. You might also don't need this at all. And you can just do add one point to team of attacker. But I'm not sure if that works. I haven't tested it out yet. I always like to actually write out the teams itself. Because there are not like 20 teams in a game. Otherwise it would get kind of messy. There's only two. I think you can also do this. I'm not quite sure. So if anyone wants to try out, let me know in the comments. So right now, there's actually no way to know how many points a team has. So we're going to do a little broadcast here, which is going to tell us exactly that. To do this, we will first make some local variables. 
to make everything a bit shorter. So we will do set blue to team blue from game team versus team. And of course, the same goes for team red. Okay, perfect. And then in here, we can do a broadcast for each of these teams. Team blue points. And then between percentage signs, we can do points of and then the variable we want, which is in this case going to be blue. And for team red, it's going to be team red like this. So this should tell us each time we kill someone, how many points the team of the attacker has. You can also do cool stuff with boss bars, scoreboards on the side of your screen. And I might do that in an extra episode. I'm still thinking about that. But I think we have everything set up right now. So let's go ahead, jump into Minecraft and test this out. So let's reload my scripts and see if there are any errors. Okay, perfect. Doesn't look like it. I will make myself join team uh, red. So let me do create first. PVT join red. I'll make the dummy character join blue then. Okay, then as an administrator, I will do TVT start. There you go. I'm being teleported to the red spawn, which I said here in the camp last episode. And my dummy character is being spawned here inside the castle, which is the blue spawn. So let's actually go ahead and kill each other. So what should happen is the dummy character should immediately respawn at his spawn in the castle because we forced him to do that. And there should be a broadcast message in the chat telling us how many points uh, my team has, which is in this case red. So let's go ahead and kill dummy. There you go. Perfect. You can see that dummy has respawned right here uh, at his spawn point for team uh, blue inside the castle. And in the chat it says team red points is one. Now let me actually give a diamond sword to dummy as well and kill Phonox. All right, this is going to hurt. One, two, three. Perfect. I respawn at the red spawn right here in the camp. Team blue points is one. And I will show you that if he kills me again, that the points for team blue will be actually two. There you go, team blue points is two, so it's nice counting up, all of that is working. And that's really all there's to it guys, so not a lot of code we have to write for this, it all works perfect. But right now there's no way to end the game, uh, to set a maximum amount of points, you know, when is the game over. But we will do all of that in the next episode. So I hope you like this episode, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or on my Discord server. And I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.